Mainstream media exists for the purposes of indoctrination and manipulation of public perception. The world of free and independent media is growing, and with the upsurge in information now available in the public domain, it has never been easier to access free and independent media. The exploration of this information resulted in an experimental project which would provide a fully supported space for researchers, whistleblowers and seekers of all kinds to express themselves and educate the world. On the 1st of January 2015, Conscious Consumer Network was launched to the world. Nobody thought we would make it this far, but CCN is the longest running free and independent media network of its kind. CCN is a unique collaboration of hearts and souls, bringing you information from different perspectives to educate and inform. Since we started CCN, we have had only one desire, the pursuit of a free, fair, just, sustainable world. And this has not changed. Having overcome many challenges over the last two years, CCN is here to stay and we've got great things lined up for 2017. It's all it's right all to right. be just, just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being, being a little, little bit crazy, crazy in just the right vibration. vibration. With, that With that in mind, mind you should you understand, understand God's, God's completely God. insane. <laughs> An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, we egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect, pure time and velvet style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be you to the fullest. Humanity lives in the sunlit world of what we believe to be reality. There is, however, unseen by most. The military-industrial conflict. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. Why is another truth required risking what you already have and what you're already comfortable with, which is why most people don't want to know the truth. We came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> and just really brainwashed people. This really stems from the fact that our society seems to have this trend of making the population feel like crap and then making them uncomfortable in some way. I mean, you can see this anywhere from 
cosmetics to weight loss industry to big pharma and selling medicine for depression. They prescribe shit. On this episode of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy, we travel from Chicago to Warrenville, where Walter Kelso, Katie, Richard Riley, and Dave Kelso take you on a tour of the full story of a police brutality incident in which the original cell phone footage is brief and begs many, many different questions and speculation. So in order to eliminate confusion, we bring you the full story. It's a harsh truth, but as tyranny becomes more transparent and the awakening process of humanity continues, people are quickly finding out that the cops do as they please regardless of the law, judges do as they please regardless of the law, and unless your last name is Clinton, then for as long as we can sense with our silence, those who are supposed to serve and protect had become nothing more than a gang of corporate policy enforcers. This video acts as further evidence that asking the question, am I free to go or am I being detained, will get you nothing more than physically abused by the police officer you will offend by having asked it. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Warrenville, Illinois. Warrenville, Illinois Police Department. This is, can I see your badge, please? Can I see your badge, please? Officer J. Denaeus. I'm just a civilian. Exercising my free will. I gotta cuff you, put the phone down. You can keep it running. You can keep it running. Sir, please. You can keep it running. This is so unnecessary. You can keep it running. Please don't do Put this it down to on me. the ground. Why are you hurting me? Put it down. I'm not hurting You're you. You're going to. Not if I cuff you up. I'm not. Why are you trying to do this? What if we, I have nothing on me, dude. I really, I don't want any. Right now? I just want to go home and not, and not Put have. Put the phone down. There's no need for trouble. Put the phone Please, down. there's no need for you trouble. You can leave it recording. Put I don't, the phone I, down. I don't even need to record you if you just like hold me. Please. Please get off of me. This is going to be all over the internet, man. I don't care. I'm in the white here. You're, you're not, not in the water. We're not doing any wrong, dude. You haven't done anything. I'm just trying to go in the water and have a nice day, dude. You I didn't form this. You we guys wrong. have weed on you. It's I illegal. Dude, it's gone yeah, now. We have nothing wait, on wait, us. Wait, Please. Please. Yeah, this isn't. We have Exactly. Which is what I do. Then give us a ticket. Which is what I get. We'll pay the ordinance ticket. You guys are letting me talk. No problem with that. Please. I will pay your ordinance. I will pay your ordinance. I'm not trying to run for you. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt my arm, man. I'm not even to tell me that I can't walk away or not listen to you. Rich, come on, man. He's hurt. He's going to hurt me, dude. Yes, I do. He's going to fucking hurt my arm, dude. Why? Why Why you have your Why are you restraining him like that? He's not doing anything. I really don't want any problem with you, man. Why are you restraining him? I really don't. Can you answer that, sir? Please. I just want to go home, dude. Why are you restraining him? Please, sir. Why is this necessary? He wasn't this. He wasn't I'm just he was a fucking human being, the dude. Time. Down from the main lot. This is so unnecessary. He hasn't been any kind of uncooperative. I just told you that you have no right to search me. Please, sir. Please let go of me. I'm done talking to you guys. Why? This is. I got another unit there. I'm gonna get all three of you in cuffs, and then That's we're gonna talk. A, but about what is that gonna, gonna solve? It's not gonna happen. What is that gonna solve? What is that going to solve? Can you please answer my question, sir? That, that time please. is over, dude. Dude, it's, over. it's I'm not scared of what you're going to do to me, so please just tell me why this is necessary. No. Put Hey, realize. put the paddle down. Put the paddle down. What am I doing? I'm picking up myself so it doesn't end up in the water. Please, sir. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm really just trying to enjoy the nice day. Yeah, exactly. I mean, gosh. I didn't know I needed a paddle pass. Is this, is this, is this protecting and serving? This isn't an is this issue. protecting and Are you proud of what you do? This is protecting and serving your freaking nation? Pathetic, man. Come on, I'm a kid and I know better. What does that feel like? It just, it's nothing, dude. I mean, it's, it's just, it's what, ridiculous. what's the purpose of all this? Is I know, what the question man. Is. Would you do this what to your kids? Come, what if this was your kid just trying to enjoy his day, man? What if this was your kid, dude? 
You guys were talking about ordinance I'm tickets. I'm a child. About how it's just ordinance tickets. You guys were talking about that. Yeah, exactly. we'll pay the ticket. Exactly. It's so why are we past that now? Turning it into we more. are past that. You got too many. Why? You got all aggravated for no reason. We haven't we done were anything calm wrong. and trying to talk it out. We have proof. We haven't done anything. There's no people been here. Other people been paddling by. Because you're trying to argue and justify something that has no real reason. You got angry because I walked away. Where's I have the right go? to walk away. Where's I haven't done go? anything wrong. We're being unlawfully detained. Yeah, wait. I gave you my information. I didn't even have to do that. It's a common I'm not doing anything wrong. Put, okay, put the phone down. I will not put the phone down. This is a common well, then, law then, then I can knock it. Then I'm going to knock it out of your hands Why and it might you get right. Me? Because I'm going to handcuff you. Why are you doing you, that? Why are you handcuffing me? He hasn't done anything tonight. wrong. He hasn't done anything wrong. Please why are you handcuffing? Me. Why are you doing this? Please stop. Why? Please why? Do we, we're not doing around. anything please wrong. Please Nobody's with. Do nobody is fighting. Please why are you please forcing please him to the ground? Please. Why? This guy needs to go in cuffs. Why? What have I done? I haven't done anything wrong. Turn around. No. I have not done anything wrong. Turn around. I have not done anything wrong. Turn around. I have not done anything wrong. For what? For what? What are the charges? Turn. I don't know. He told me to come out and give you a hand. Why are, you, why are you putting your hands on us? We haven't done anything. You told us to our rights. I don't want you guys walking around behind me. Hey, you get over here. You, are, you guys are looking at us. We haven't done us. anything wrong. Every time we haven't done do anything wrong. I tell you to. Well, then, why, we, why do we have to do this what you tell us to? Him. He's got weed on him. He isn't trying to do anything. I don't want these guys walking around. It's not, it doesn't matter if we're walking around. We have the free right to walk around. No, it doesn't. Can I see your badge, please? I mean, you've asked for all our information. What's all yours? This is ridiculous. Like, we haven't done anything. You told us not to go out in the water, so we didn't. Why are you got your hands on everybody? Please get off of me. This is gonna be all over the internet. I don't care. I'm Why? Right we're not. We're not in the wrong. We haven't done anything. I don't want, I don't we want were to just trying to go in the water. You I informed us that we were wrong. Have weed on you. It's I don't. Illegal. It's going yeah, buddy. Wait. We have wait. Any criminal in charge? So why are you arrest? So why are you arresting them? This is some footage for uh, Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. We have my dad here for commentary, Walter Kelso, because he's a Vietnam veteran. And we have uh, Richard Riley. And Richard is going to explain a nice little blatant violation of his constitutional rights that happened right here. I'm just going to do a, a quick 360 so people can get a general view of the area. Hi, Katie. Hi. Okay. So, complete 360, we see the full scope of the area, and now I'm going to have uh, Richard begin explaining and giving us the tour of what happened and exactly where. Starting from here, um, this is where the one kid was coming out of the water that was already in the water with his raft. The person that the Forest Preserve officer was coming to approach in the first place. Where did he come from? He came from up here. The only way in here is down this path coming in. That's the only way to get into this area. Okay. There was no squad car or anything up there. He just walked in on foot. Now, I was over here. Getting ready to go into the water with my longboard, and there was another kid with me with a kayak. We were getting ready to go into the water over here. When the officer walked up, I was standing right here. He walked right past me. More than once as I was standing here, he instructed the other kid to bring his raft up over here and set it down, and I just go ahead, told him to go ahead and listen to him. Go to bring it up you know, and see what he wants to talk to you about. Um, at that point, I walked back over here towards my longboard and the kayak, and was going to continue going about my business. Okay, so you were going to launch right from here, and um, you had the the boats laid in the water. Well, there wasn't any water here at that point. Yeah. The, the water was much lower. The kayak and the longboard were sitting 
about over here by this rock where it's real shallow and there's gravel and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's where they were sitting, pointing out, getting ready to go out into the water. Um, as I walked back over here, the officer asked the one gentleman to sit down on the bench and wait for him. He set his raft down right here in the middle where he was instructed to. I continued to go back over here. The officer then broke away and left him sitting there. Walked over here. So that that was the chair in the video that we saw him sitting. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And then he broke off, walked over here to speak to me and the other gentlemen that were sitting here getting ready to go into the water. Not in the water yet, getting ready to go in the water. Mm -hmm. He informed us that you needed a paddle pass, which I had no idea what was, explained what it was, and that we needed life preservers on the crafts, which I didn't have. I at that point said thank you for the information I'm gonna take my stuff and be on my way obviously we're not going out in the water we need to get some things taken care of first I picked up my longboard and this little speaker that was inside sitting on top of it a Bluetooth speaker showed them both to him that I didn't have anything on me and continued to walk away he then stopped me at that point and said he needed to search me and I said I declined the search I set the longboard down right here I emptied my pockets, which were these shorts right here. Adidas soccer shorts with these tiny little pockets in them that you can see through. All right. I was wearing these. No underwear, no shoes, no shirt, no anything, just these shorts because I was getting ready to go out in the water. Yeah. And it was very obvious that I had nothing on me. I then. Well, if, took he, my well phone. if he thought you were packing, take it as a compliment. He might swing the other way. <laughs> I'm not trying to go there, but... Uh, I know. Yeah. Well, you know... I had my phone in this pocket. <laughs> well, what was that officer's name again? Uh, Jay Dinas. Oh, or, Penis? I, I'm not sure. I got another Let's be serious. Him. I'm not trying okay, to... Okay, I know. I just... Make fun of the hey, call. I know. Well, this is Paradigm Shift and Educational yeah. Comedy. I got to well, throw in a little bit here and there. Kind of you know, I, anyway, I got I got to toss in a little bit. Cell phone in a waterproof diving case in this pocket, which I took out and showed to him. And a little cigarette case that I kept my money in, kind of a wallet, a metal case that I kept, you know, my thing, my things in. I didn't have an ID on me. I explained that to him. I took it out, held him up in the air, and showed him, "This is what I have. I have nothing, no weapons, nothing, not doing anything wrong. I'm gonna be on my way." I then picked up my longboard and the speaker from right here, and continued walking this direction. The officer then followed me, chased me down, and made me set my longboard down right here near the raft from the other gentleman which he instructed to set down here and then i didn't want to be bothered by him anymore so i set down my longboard and i continued walking down along the path down here i walked down by the area where we began the, the video and he then stopped following me and started walking back up here and that's when i walked back up because i wasn't trying to run away i just didn't want to be chased by this guy he had no reason to bother me I had no idea what was going on. He had given me no reasons to bother me. So I walked back up, I was asking why he was putting this other gentleman in cuffs for a, um, for a um, city ordinance violation, supposedly of you know having uh, marijuana on him. I have no knowledge of this, so I, I, I don't know. So I ask, he said at that point on the video, which I had on my phone, which is very short, he had explained that he had weed on him in his exact words. I, I said, okay, why are you placing him under arrest? That's all I asked. Now, here's the thing, though. Ron was the one being arrested, right? That was the other gentleman, Johnny. Ron was the one who walked up because he followed me down here because he was fr flustered and didn't know what to do. He followed me, and he was walking back up with his phone when his video started when I was already standing yeah. here with the officer in the, in the general area. So that, ki that kid who, who was saying, you know, why are you doing this to me? What's going on? That was Ronnie. And that was that. Ronnie. I got a cup. You put the phone down. You can keep it running. You can keep it running. Sir, please. You can keep it running. This is so unnecessary. You can keep it running. Please don't do put this Put it down to me. on the ground. Why are you hurting me? Put it down. I'm not hurting You're you. You're going to. Not if I cuff you up. I'm not. Why are you trying to do this? What are, I have nothing on me, dude. I really, I don't want any. Right now? I just want to go home and not, and not put have. Put the phone down. There's no need for trouble. Put the phone please, down. there's no need for you trouble. You can leave it recording. Put I don't, the phone I, down. I don't even need the recording if you just like roll me. Please. Please. 
Please get off of me. This is gonna be all over the internet, man. I don't care. I, I'm in the fight. Right you're, you're not in the We're not, not doing any harm, dude. You haven't done anything. He was standing right here with the officer at that point. Yeah. Plus, it explains the reason I said that the officer was impeding my path yeah. to leave because he was. Now, did Ronnie himself? He's right here. Did Ronnie himself have any weed on him, or was it just the other kid? To my knowledge, no. I'm just trying to go in the want, water and have a nice day, dude. Water, you I don't you do. You we guys wrong. have weed on you. It's I illegal. Don't, dude, I don't know well, what he was doing. He was already separated from us anyway. Yeah. He had gotten in the water and going along his way. I was planning on going that direction anyway. <clears throat> just because we arrived in the same vehicle didn't mean that we were doing the exact same thing. Right. Yeah. So I, I don't know what his plans were. He had already gone on his way. I just called him back to tell him that he needed to put more air in his raft or he was going to sink. That's it. Yeah. And that is that is when the officer walked up. When he was coming out of the water, the officer walked right past me as I was walking back to my craft. So here's a question. When the officer said he had weed on him, who is the he that the officer was, he was referring to? He was speaking of the other individual. His name was Johnny. So he was not speaking about Ron? No. So it seems, at least from when I watched the videos, that um, the officer simply didn't like it that Ronnie was recording, so he nabbed I him. Can't, I can't guess what the officer was thinking. Yeah, I'm just saying from, in my opinion, is, is and it's what it looked like. that he came and had, had whatever reasons to speak with was sitting here calmly waiting for him. That individual also got arrested for resist and, and charged with resisting arrest. All three of us did. For what, I still have no idea. Both on the videos, before and after, they never gave me any reason. To this date, I still don't know why I was under arrest. I was never given a reason. And if I recall correctly, when you asked for a reason, the answer you were given is, because he said so. On that video, yes. Because yeah. he said so. I've not done I anything can, wrong. For what? He, for what? What are the to, charges? Turn, what I don't are the know. charges? He told me to come out and give you a Because he said so isn't a charge. No. Exactly. That's, that's it's like not the, a charge. It's not a reason. And I had every valid right to question <laughs> why I was being detained. Yeah, so there... So they're they're they're, they're nope. trying to sla sneak up and slap the cups on from behind you, and you're like, why am I doing that? What's the charge? And the answer you got is, well, because he said he's so. He's supposed to tell him that he's under arrest and why he's arresting him. He refused to do it. And he should have called for a backup uh, to come also and assist him, which he did. That didn't. was also another lie that they told off camera. They they tried to tell us that he wasn't responding to his radio, and that's why the other officers came in his defense. Well, that's obviously not true on the video. It was obvious that he was calling for defense and speaking, or calling for backup and speaking to them as they were arriving. Yeah. Exactly where he was. He busted himself. I really don't. Can you answer that, sir? Please. I just want to go home, dude. Why are you restraining him? Please, sir. Why is this necessary? He wasn't this. He was just a fucking human being, dude. He's down from the main lot. So unnecessary. He hasn't been any kind of uncooperative. I just told you that you have no right to search me. Please, sir. Please let go of me. I'm done talking to you guys. Why? This is. I got another unit there. I'm gonna get all three of you in cuffs, and then That's we're gonna talk. A, but about what is that gonna, gonna solve? So their their reasoning set told that they explained to me when the Warrenville officer came and tried to put me under, place me under arrest, which is when the video stopped. See, that's the part I didn't know. Now the whole thing makes way more sense to me. You got evidence on that guy, and that makes him nervous. So. And then, then the interesting part happened after they stopped uh, the videos that I was holding in my hands on the cell phones. That happened right here. When he came towards me, I was still standing near the other officer. The video stopped. I then kept continued walking away from him and wouldn't allow them to detain me and put their hands on me until I was about right here. Then the officer grabbed, I was standing here like this with the phones in my hands and the officer grabbed me by my elbows and went to pull my hands behind my back and that's about what happened. I just went like that and said, why are you putting, placing your hands on me? The other officer then, standing right about there, right about here, mm -hmm. the other two, both Ronnie and Johnny, the other two gentlemen were already sitting there on the bench in cuffs and I was just standing here with the same questions. Why? Why are you placing me under arrest? Why are you trying to detain me? What have I done wrong because I haven't done anything? Then please. Reserve Officer Dennis, let me explain this very quickly. Okay. Pulled out his can of pepper spray. Ooh. Go ahead. Oh my God. Didn't you say that um, 
when that this part wasn't on video but you were standing there and they were trying to put the cuffs on you but they could not arms, they, they could they, they could not pull your arms like this and asked why you have no reason for this and and that's what they consider resisting uh, apparently just cut be just because they were weak and you were strong I, I am not here to judge anything about that but all I know is that's that's what happened yeah and ju and just for fun Dan you're not exactly a weak person Try to pull his arms apart. I just want, it's Paradigm Shift and Educational right, okay. Comedy. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, he's a stout man. You, you can't, him off. you can't pull him back. Yeah, that, that, that's what made him mad when he couldn't pull your arm back. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he should have yeah. like, tried to grab you by yeah. the wrist. They grabbed me right here and, well, I was holding my phones. And well, at that point, I'm sure would... they didn't know that the recording had stopped. Yeah, there. but so. normally they would grab you here and yep. swing that arm back. Yep. And said he grabbed right here huh. and I just, I just held my held my ground. I didn't just mm -hmm. I didn't submit. I just was asking why. Now just for the fighting back, I didn't raise my hands in yeah, any I didn't way. Yeah, I try to hit them or push yeah. them away. Yeah, now just just for the for the PSEC audience here, so they have a little bit of background as to why you're so strong. He doesn't take steroids or anything like that. Um, there are these health products he, he uses, these longevity health products, and they're totally legit. And we're going to have a little fun and prove this right quick. Lift up your shirt. I mean, this guy is built like a freaking tank. He's built like a tank. But, you know, he doesn't have muscles twice as big as his head. It's not steroids. It's just he puts nutrition into himself. And because uh, the, the cops were, you know, your typical, you know, donut-eating diabetes candidates, um, they are a lot less healthier than him. So, obviously, he has that health advantage and thus a strength advantage. Maybe. I mean, maybe that is the case. Like I said, I, yeah. I had my shirt off. I was wearing a pair of shorts. I mean, yeah. Maybe, okay. Fine. Maybe there was an intimidation factor. Yeah. I have no idea. Fine. I'll give you a little. I, I, I'll put out a little. Le uh, no I'll put out a little. A little disclaimer. The 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 opinions of Dave Kelso or Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy are not necessarily the opinions of Richard Riley. Okay. Legal disclaimer issued. You can like calm down about that now. So you got your ass completely pepper spray. Okay. Show us. Can of pepper spray standing right about there. I promise you, you won't hurt. The other officer still had, was still holding on to my elbow, <laughs> standing right behind me. He then began to spray me from right there. I then, at that point, just went like this, blocked my face. I don't know what happened. I, I broke the grip of the officer, I'm sure. I, I don't really, I didn't really think about it at the time I was getting yeah. pepper sprayed. So I was, so I went up like this to protect my face and then immediately went down to the ground and covered up like this. I was not submit. I was not resisting in any way. The officer then continued to spray the whole can of pepper spray in my hair, Jesus. all over my back, all over, completely drenching my whole body in it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I still have some of the jewelry that I was wearing sitting out that I have to bring in and submit, you know, a, a complaint and a report with the Warrantville Police Department showing all the how all my jewelry was damaged by the pepper spray, how there's still residual leftovers on it after what happened after the fact wasn't there other the property the story, damage I'll tell you exactly how the fire department yeah. had to hose me off with their truck because i had so much pepper spray out. was it wasn't there other property damage you experienced yeah there was i mean that's that's after the fact there's nothing at this point in the story okay um like i said at this point i was laying there um at that point they picked me up brought me over to this over to this area which was closer to the other gentleman sat me down right here or late, I was still laying and covering up because I, I was burning. And uh, I sat down, I got to, down on my knees right here. They then cuffed me. He's too fast. And pulled my cigarette case and my Help phone out of my pocket. Or my phone was in my hand, cigarette case out of the pocket with my money in, enclosed. Um, and placed me under arrest. They then sat me here in the blazing 90 plus degree heat, oh, blazing sun. Completely drenched in pepper spray, which I trust, trust me, is much worse than putting any sort of tanning oil on you. <laughs> I sat here roasting, burning. I felt like I was in hell's fire. Yeah. And I do not take that lightly. I was burning to death. It was horrible. All the other then paramedics and Warrenville police officers, there had to have been a group of 16 
officials and individuals, whether they were from Edwards Hospital or the paramedics or the fire department and the Warrenville Police Department were all standing around here in a group wondering why I was being treated as such. Yeah, so word to the wise for anybody who thinks they're gonna gonna get cute and be a badass with the cops at protester at protests and stuff. It is not fun to get pepper sprayed and these Gestapo motherfuckers are more than happy to spray your ass up just for fun. So be smart, don't be stupid, don't antagonize the cops, and don't get yourself pepper sprayed at frickin' protests because they are happy to pepper spray you. So unless you want to feel hellfire as he's describing then be intelligent and don't be an idiot do your activism safely with that being said i wasn't antagonizing the cops i wasn't doing anything out of line i was simply asking what the reasoning was for detaining and trying to put place me under arrest yep like i said they just Stand love spraying people you and antagonizing the officers is a completely different thing yeah you, you should never have been arrested uh, at all that you had done anything wrong uh, I understand about the other chap because he Daddy. had something illegal on him Supposedly. but as Daddy. far as yes. you're concerned he had nothing illegal on you didn't do anything wrong um, no it, from that point like I said they sat me thank you right here for quite a while until I made it quite clear that I was dying they Ooh. needed to do something then they attempted to wipe my face off the paramedics attempted to wipe my face and rinse my eyes the best they could when they realized that wasn't doing it, it was way beyond that point. It was so bad, it was ridiculous. Then they, the officers agreed to allow the paramedics and the fire department to bring me up the path towards the, towards the parking lot where all the, now all the Warrenville police vehicles and the fire department vehicles and the EMS vehicles were all up here in plain sight. You could see them. Which is why I questioned in the first place who this gentleman was who just walked up and started demanding. Yeah, because this th this fence this fence way. right here, this is the parking lot. Just to illustrate to the viewers what's up. This right. is the parking lot. So this is where all the vehicles were. Yeah, yeah well oh, they let stopped me. me right here with the hose from the fire truck. Inside. All right, one sec, let me just yeah. So this is where the vehicles were. We can clearly see that from, from back down where we were when there's when there's police cars parked there, it's pretty fucking obvious. So when Officer Tinycock approached, there was no squad car or anything. All right. So at this point, I was in cuffs, hands behind my back, and they proceeded to spray me with the fire truck from the fire hose for approximately 15 minutes, with about with a break in the middle because, in the midst of being on fire physically from the surface. Have being sprayed from the fire truck is extremely cold and I began shivering and freezing from the inside. Mm -hmm. So I was freezing and on fire at the same time. It was quite unpleasant. So I stopped him for a break in between and then had him continue spraying me again because it was that bad. And still after that, there's huge piece residues and things and tarnishment and, and other signs of deterioration on the jewelry from all the pepper spray. Mm -hmm. You can still clearly see blotches of it sitting on some of the things. And that's after I was sprayed by a fire truck. All right. At this point, that was about it. They walked me back up and placed me in the vehicle and took me to the county jail. In which case, I sat there for about 12 hours and was still never explained why I was under arrest in the first place. And that's pretty screwed. And then if, if you want to see where I, where I believe the officer came from, pan down to the uh, bridge going across over there. There's another little side entrance from a dead end road back over that way. I believe that's probably where the officer came from in the first place. So down so down the bridge that way. Across the bridge and up along this pathway down the side where these nice folks over here are walking down towards. So I believe he walked up around that way and yeah. came up so the Yeah, so, ba so back over that, that way is a road where he was parked. And he walked. And you assume he walked his ass across to get to this yeah. part. And then walked up on us, and that's why, at this point, when he was harassing us, I started questioning who he was and wanted to see some form of ID because yeah. I saw no vehicle. And he was just some joker that could have bought a uniform at a at a supply store. Well, the other pro the other problem with this so-called cop is that you didn't have any ID, so that worried him. That, I told that, him exactly who I was and let him run my that name. That doesn't and, matter. They have to run it yeah. and everything, and he didn't do that. But that was another problem with him. Mm -hmm. 
You had no <clears throat> idea. I did. He didn't know. At least he would have something to know who you mm -hmm. are and where you live. Yeah, I freely offered and, that information. He had. You and know, you, could for all he's concerned, for all he's concerned, you could be some kind of terrorist. Some illegal. And I even told him that I live, which is the absolute fact, right across the woods on the other side of this whole compound. And I've but been, see, he, he's been here, gonna, and I've been rafting in this river for. 20 plus he's not years. Buy, he's not gonna Never buy have it. I ever had anybody question me or say anything right. to me before. He's not going to buy that, and he's also looking to harass you. So he's going to do everything he can to piss you off. Hey, remember that one time, Dad? The the cops were over at our corner. Oh yeah, they tried to and, piss me off. And they, no, and and they and they thought that there was a fight going to break out, oh, yeah. but every everything was pe ended up being yeah. peaceful. Yeah. You know, we resolve things they, with. What, they, they weren't happy with that. They yeah, they act. Really they fight. actually said that um, they 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 were upset that there was no fight. That they live for busting heads, yeah. and they and they said that if they get called out again and it's peaceful, everyone's going to jail. Yeah. that's like Gestapo. That is that is not cops as we're taught how cops behave. Well, when you give somebody some authority, they, there's a lot of time that goes to their head. Mm -hmm. now, this guy's out here, and, and, and this is like his rule, mm -hmm. okay? This is his place of business. I see. And, and, and now, he doesn't have uh, this special uh, uh, license for his paddles, so he's thinking, oh, this guy's pulling my leg. And he's he, the and king. It adds up and it starts snowballing, and then mm -hmm. now you back off from him, now, in his mind, you're resisting. You're trying to get away. You are guilty. That was in his own words. He said he was, it, he was upset. I forgot to mention that he mm -hmm. was upset because I wasn't obeying him. Oh yeah. Yet I, all I asked was why? Why should I obey you? What's your? What's and there's your no problem? proof that he's even a Free cop. It doesn't. Me. It doesn't matter because he has authority. But he refused to show ID to him. He refused to identify himself. For all Richard knew he was just some wacko. Well, and as far as his authority goes, he had informed me of the rules. I had no complaints, and I said, all right, well, then I'll be, take my things and be on my way. Yeah, because you never even got into water yet. At that point, I'm not sure why he had any reason to speak to me, and that's why I declined right. the search, and that's why I declined to speak to him anymore right. after that. And he got upset and started using force. Well, he's just, he's the king, and he wanted to bring his wrath down on a peasant, and, 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 if you, and you were it. Uh, a license or an ID card for your paddling, why isn't it posted? Why don't they post that it? Why don't they post question. it up here? They post everything else up there. That is a good question. They didn't post that up there. Why? Why didn't they post that? Hey, it it's part of the law. That, that's what I don't like about our laws. There's a lot of laws that are made. We don't know what the hell they are. And now you come down and you do something, now you're breaking that law and you didn't know. And right away they're going to hammer you. Mm -hmm. And yep. that's what I don't like about this kind of garbage. It's Nazism, it's Gestapo. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. But this guy that he had to deal with was a real you-know-what, and he just wanted to cause this guy more mm -hmm. trouble. He didn't like the way he looked, he didn't like the way his hair was. He didn't like anything about this man, so he decided he would do something. And I hope when you go to court exactly that I hope when you go to court the judge watches this That's whole video. Exactly what he did. I'm sorry. I hope when you go to court that the judge watches this whole video because I'm putting it online. The judge has got to take it into consideration that this officer was way beyond. This man was doing nothing wrong. It'd be understandable if he was out there tearing up trees or ripping stuff up or you know, doing some damage to the place, but he was doing nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. So why would you even approach him? Why would he even bother you? Yeah. And to make it clear, because I don't want anybody to ever take this the wrong way, I have a wonderful relationship with many of the Warrenville police. Um, it's got, this is not an attack on the police or even the Forest Preserve officers. Unfortunately, there are certain individuals yep. that misuse and abuse their power and authority. Yep. And in my opinion, this is a blaring case of it. Mm-hmm. So he decided to take done, it out on him. Yeah, all I had done was ask our constitutional right was why he was in, why he was using force, why he was placing people under arrest. These are simple tickets, ordinance violations. He could write the ticket, yeah. do what he has to do, and everybody goes on their way.
Please. Please. Yeah, this is it. We have exactly. No, which is, which, which is what, what I do. Then give us a ticket. We'll which is what I get. We'll pay the ordinance ticket. You guys are letting me talk. Please. Please. No, I will pay your physical. ordinance. I will pay you your ordinance. Away I'm not trying to run from you. Please don't hurt me. Yeah, Please don't hurt my arm, man. I'm not. I'm not even tell me that I can't walk away or not listen to you. Rich, come on, man. He's hurt. He's gonna hurt me, dude. Yes, I do. He's gonna fucking hurt my arm, dude. Why? Why? Why you have your? Why are you restraining him like that? He's not doing anything. I really don't want any problem with you, man. Why are you restraining him? I really don't. Can you answer that, sir? Please. I just want to go home, dude. Why are you restraining him? Please, sir. Why is this necessary? He wasn't this. He wasn't. I'm just he was a fucking human being, the whole dude. Down from the main lot. So unnecessary. He hasn't been any kind of uncooperative. I just told you that you have no right to search me. Please, sir. Please let go of me. I'm done talking to you guys. Why? This is. I got another unit there. I'm gonna get all three of you in cuffs, and then That's we're gonna talk. But about what is that gonna solve? It's not gonna happen. What is that gonna solve? What is that going to solve? Can you please answer my question, sir? That, that time please. is over, dude. There is no reason for any of this excessive force. Definitely no reason for pepper spray. This guy didn't want that. He wanted to, to cause some damage, and he did. And though I don't have the pepper spray on the video, like I said, there was at least 12 to 15 officials from different respective um, facilities that were here and witnessed the aftermath oh, of it. Nobody go. actually saw them physically pepper spraying me, except for obviously the officer who did it and the one Warrenville officer that was the, the first and responder. And the two traps that he was arrested. And, and the two, yeah, and the two individuals in handcuffs. After that, everybody definitely saw the aftermath, so there's no denying it. And I'm sure if there's any sort of accountability in the police department that they have to account for the fact, just like they, if they discharge the weapon, they have to account for that bullet. I sure hope they have to account for the can of pepper spray that was used, and that again... No, it'll cover it up. Should show, you know, like I said, that it'll I'm probably being completely all become, and 100% truthful in this Well, you know, well, you know what? The judge will just throw when it the, out and what? say, well, okay, you know, be a good boy, and, and, and probably say, make sure you have a license for your paddle and carry an ID with you. That's probably all it'll mm -hmm. be. Unless the unless the they judges unless the judges are dicks too. No, they, they don't care. It this is petty. Yeah, but it depends on their moods. Yeah, I understand that. But today, the way the system works, they they want to get through and get you out of there as quick as possible. Okay, you didn't do nothing wrong. Fine, get the hell out of here. That's basically the way it it works. And, and unless you got some money and a good lawyer and you can sue the hell out of them, you know. Most people don't. Most people can't take it that far because they stall and stall and it costs more money and more money. We can't afford that. And they play it. And I've seen it many, many times. And we unfortunately pay for both sides because yeah. their end gets paid by our tax exactly. dollars. So they don't care. It's not their money. Exactly. Well, this is like, a, this is petty. The judge is just going to just throw it out. He did nothing wrong. It should be the case. Sometimes, sometimes I wonder. <laughs> you still have to go back, right? Yep. Still have court. Yep. And you know, like I said, I mean, the obvious, what, what should be common sense is that this should not have happened in the first place. That's why I have my yeah. doubts with the judicial system. Exactly. Because this should never even gotten to this point. Exactly. It's absolutely ridiculous. Exactly. I mean, and our if constitutional this man rights are very clear. If this man would have felt you were a threat, why didn't he call the regular authorities, the regular police to come in on this? You know, back me up here. Mm -hmm. And then you would have went with the regular police and everything would have and been fine. And then when they did, unfortunately their reason was is because this guy said so. Why? What have I done? I haven't done anything wrong. Turn around. No, I have not done anything wrong. I have not done anything wrong. Turn around. I have not done anything wrong. Turn around. I have not done anything wrong. For what? For what? What are the charges? Turn, I what are the know. charges? He told me to come out and give you a hint. It's like, well, I, I'm going to need a better reason than that. Well, you know, next time it doesn't mean you feel, call the police. If, an off, if you're walking down the street and an officer says, "Stop! Place your hands behind your back. You're under arrest." He has to give you a reason. Right. They can't just stop you and tell you're under arrest right. because I said so. Right. This is here where we have the major problem. Why well, am I under arrest? I haven't done anything wrong because he said so. You know, that's like our 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 photo enforced. On the books, it says that the only people that can issue you a ticket is a man in uniform and a gun. And he's a police officer, not some company sending you out a ticket. This is all illegal. But they know how to rob people.
they make their own laws and that's that's the bad part about our country and and uh, what's going against the citizens yeah Zeke Heil Fourth Reich if you uh, uh, unfortunately we're seeing a blaring ex example of it in Right. The 2016 presidential election. Papers, if please. This is what I'm going through for asking what I did wrong. How does one Hillary Clinton get away with destroying evidence after a congressional <laughs> subpoena? Well, that's we that. No, I'd be sitting in jail because I didn't even do anything, and I yeah. sat in jail. Well, that's easy. No reasonable prosecutor who doesn't want to end up suicided would ever bring such a case, as James gonna, Comey said. They're going to use the excuse that you, they uh, search and that search and seizure uh, thing that you you didn't want them to touch you so therefore you're you're automatically guilty i'm telling you right now they're going to hit you up with that you did not let them frisk you so you are guilty oh i let i, I showed them everything i just didn't no, want no, their hands no. on me he's for, got for a, no he's reason he's got to physically check you to see if you have uh, anything again, that's uh, also would, they didn't would have, harm they didn't he, ask me to do that either he, he has to protect him he just asked me he just told me to put my hands behind my back to cuff yeah. me he, He's, he didn't he ask me for anything he, else. He, he, they have to protect themselves, so they usually want to frisk you to make sure you don't have a gun somewhere and again, where they can't see. That was very obvious. Yeah, you got nothing. I was wearing nothing, He's and that nothing. was very clear in the videos. You could see through everything. This mm -hmm. guy just looks like this. Sounds <laughs> like this guy's just a big troublemaker, and he wants to I was have as, the he wants I was as power. plain and obviously unarmed as one human being could be while having any form of clothing on. But like the I only said, thing less would have been completely naked. He didn't like you. <laughs> and that's illegal. He so obviously like I couldn't do that. He didn't like <laughs> he doesn't like your beard. He doesn't like your hairstyle. He doesn't like what you have to say. Well it's also and therefore he's gonna come down on you. It's also very obvious that um the the uh, superiority complex that Officer Penis has is a is a psychological overcompensation for the inferiority complex that is in my opinion about his tiny winky you know that's what that's not what i fought mm. that's not what i went to war this for this is a good example i mm. did not go to war for the crap we got here today papers please Kyle. and I, I went to war because they told me it was for freedom it was to take care of our country that the the, the people i was fighting against were our enemies no, it's for the good of the and, office of penises and, in the uh, Reich. Uh, why would I have to come home and see all this crap and hear everything that's going on? It, it's sickening. It's sickening. Because your Lord and Savior Obama says so. <laughs> Let me hear an amen, brothers and sisters. <laughs> no, it, 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 it's, really, it's really sickening. Mm -hmm. Because you come home proud that you've helped out this country and you get a slap in the face now. And I'm telling you, all veterans today think the same way. Every one of them, every one of us, think the same way about this country and about authority here. And then look, now I have Agent Orange, I've gone through the chemo, now I'm going through radiation. You know, I don't feel bad about it. I did my job when I went into the service. I'm a proud man. And that's the way it is. And, and, and I would do it again. I have, no, I have no qualms with protecting my country. And I feel the absolute same way. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a proud patriot, and that means hey, that, I have allegiance to my people and that my means country. A lot. Not, not necessarily my government, my people and my country. No, right. God exactly. and country is the big thing. Uh, government's kind of sloppy. What are you They've do? become a domestic enemy. What are you going to do? Hey. We could follow up. I mean, we could do follow up. And depending on the judge you get, pretty okay with it if the judge now, is going to take in effect <laughs> what you're saying, if the judge is not going to, is going to be on the same route. Yeah. The last here, thing is here, the shit that got you damaged. You're not dressed according to the sta their statues. It, it, it's a hard call. Hey, Richard, though. the shit that got damaged. Explain that. Um, that happened all after the fact. That was when they took, when they wouldn't allow me to have somebody come and pick up my property again since my home is right through the woods over there less than a quarter of a mile. I could have easily called somebody to pick up my equipment to walk it back or drive it back to the house. They wouldn't allow it. They said that they were going to take it and store it for safekeeping. 
And they tore it apart instead. They did. They drug it up. It's all scratched. The things were absolutely brand new. This was the first time I was attempting to put them in the water. They're all scratched up. Decals are missing off of them. Things were unscrewed, taken apart that say directly on the instructions to never unscrew these because now it's not watertight. Um, and these things, nothing was locked. There was nothing on any of the things. There was absolutely nothing for them to search. I had no problem with them searching everything. You know, it, it's a kayak. It's got a watertight lock on it. You spin it and open it and you can look inside the compartment. They instead took all the screws out. They kept everything water sealed. Now it leaks. These, the, the claims that are the claims that had already been filed with the forest preserve um, about the damage to the property and also had a pair of sunglasses that were Oakley sunglasses polarized that were on my head, sport glasses because I was going out to do sport type of things. Um, mm -hmm. They were on my head clearly in the video we're not checked into any evidence. We're not checked into any property list. And I lost a pair of sunglasses some, somehow through this ordeal, along with a couple other pieces of, of property that were either damaged or lost in the exchange, including cash, which is kind of funny. And the Forest Preserve openly returned a small amount of cash to Ronnie, um, but then said they knew nothing about the cash of mine that was you know, un they unaccounted for. So, Mr. Superiority Complex appears allegedly to have jacked your wallet. It's pop well, I didn't get that returned either. That's another question. The, the, oh, they jacked the whole the wallet. Metal, wow. The little metal uh, case that I kept my... <laughs> normally would keep my credit cards and ID and everything in. Only had cash in it because I was going out in the water and I had no reason to bring credit cards and ID. So right. I just took all that stuff out and left right, it on the counter right, at home. Right. Yeah. You know, and just left the cash in there. That's all that was in there. Um... Yeah, as far as, you know, there was no identification. Well, no, it's too you bad know. you didn't have that in your And that vehicle. hasn't been returned either. I mean, it was just a little a little folding metal case, um, what would appear to be like a cigarette case. It was like nothing. That wasn't returned either, but again, that's not of real any monetary value itself either. Um, not saying he stole it. I just don't know what happened to it. Yeah. Oh, I can give you the explanation for the cash missing. Um, this was kind of comical too. and just shows the complete... <clears throat> Um, incompetence of this whole situation and whole whole situation, the whole arrest, the whole everything. The reason that was given for returning a small amount of cash to Ronnie is because the officer had fully admitted leaving some of our property on top of the vehicle and driving away with it. <laughs> mm. That was the reason for having to return <laughs> the small amount of cash, yet they argue with me when I said other things were missing and including <laughs> cash of mine. Kind of funny how that works. One yeah. one of the three individuals stuff was left on the on the vehicle and driven away with. And then again, when we went to claim all the pr properties, everybody's property was mixed up. There was stuff of mine and their property. There was stuff of theirs in my property. So there was obviously no separation. They just dumped everything in bags and put names on them. So how can they tell us that they, there's no possible chance that anything else got lost or damaged? Just, just the $10 that they returned to Ronnie. Joke on you, huh? Yeah, well, well. At the Forest Preserve office. Well, because according to the law, a, pol a police officer's word holds way more priority oh, yeah. than yours. So know. if they want to lie, then their lies are the truth in the eyes of the law. Unfortunately, it goes that way and quite often. There's no checks and balances against it. If a cop's going to lie about you, you're fucked. Oh. Their word is gospel and they are Jesus Christ. It's a good thing I did have the wherewithal to at some point at least start the videos on the cell phones. Um, there's no reason for them at the beginning. I, you know, The officer informed us of mm. the rules of going out on the water. I said, fine, we got to go. I had no need to start a video recording until he continued to harass us in the aftermath, and that's where he's, and that's what where it picked up on the videos. And then, of course, my video, as I said on the caption, the, the, my memory on my phone ran out, so it was really short. And then the other one stopped as the officers tried to put their hands on me without explaining why. Definitely some crazy shit. Last time I checked for the Constitution, you have the right to your own personal space. They have to have a reason to invade upon that space. People need to wake up to the fact that the reason they call it the American Dream is because you have to be asleep to believe it. The, the, the cops are not like Superman and the criminals are not like the Joker. The criminals are running government 
and the minions from the Despicable Me movies are running local government, and then we are just obeying the tyranny. Silence is consent, and we are consenting to getting getting our asses kicked. Beyond all, with not without any written or verbal authorization, remove. Um, submitting our personal rights every single individual on this planet has the right to their own personal being and that cannot be violated again without proper reasoning mm -hmm. not just because hi i'm hitler and i want to manhandle you today go fuck yourself eat my dick and uh, the really sad part is the, the really heartfelt part from your father there and, and i feel for all the veterans i mean this is really disgraceful this is really disgraceful what they fought for and what they're being put through and and they see the aftermath of what what they got out of it mm -hmm. you know having you know cancer and everything else aside but to have to see that the rights of the individuals that they fought for the freedom for being violated as such is mm -hmm. just despicable it's like they thought they were fighting against the nazis and come to find they're fighting for the nazis that's the betrayal that's the feeling of betrayal Yep. I think we can end off with that. Much love to everybody. Although some people are awake, there still seems to me that... I know this is controversial, so I'm just going to say it right out. If you have a passion, you're not awake. That's that's what yeah. I do. Okay? You can't claim to be an awake and aware person and lack compassion. So, for example, yes, there are people, you know... Um, and, and, and there's there's lots to be said about this and that and the next thing, but there's compassionate ways in which to go about it rather than attacking. And we as a society, and I've noticed this program, and it's so sad because you've got a lot of these truth, um, truth uh, speakers, truth seekers waking up, coming into this movement, um, you know, jumping into the communication mix on various social media platforms, and they've got what I call the Jesuit punitive programming. Okay, which is um, if someone's done something bad, you know, blah, 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 they must be punished, even if it's a verbal lashing. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm thinking that it really is about isolating this punitive aspect of our thinking of, you know, um, damage and retribution. You know, if, if you're in pain, you've got to seek vengeance kind of thing. And there is very much this thing inside the human psyche. <laughs> Um, and I suppose it does take a lot of uh, calm, discipline, I don't know, yogi awareness, whatever you want to call it, you know, sit in silence, whatever you have to do to rid yourself of that anger and come to a place where, you know, even though you've been hurt, you don't project your pain onto others. Rather, you show compassion and empathy for the pain of others because you've suffered too. Yeah. That, for me, is awareness. Okay. It's not, you know, uh, let's get our pitchforks out and let's go, you know, kill these guys because they're yeah. bad. Don't forget the don't forget the fake positive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm positive. See, don't you dare tell me otherwise, or you're of a low frequency. <laughs> energy is attached to you. If you tell me I'm not positive, <laughs> you know exactly. Is that? I get this all the time with where people say, oh, why do you focus on such negative stuff? Because, you know, a lot of the work we do is exposing the darkness. And I love your what you said there. It's not that I, I focus on the darkness. I'm a very happy, positive person because guess what? I shine light into dark places. For me, that's a positive, positive, positive. That's not a negative, negative, negative. It is absolutely about putting positive into a bad situation to manifest a positive outcome, which hopefully is awareness of the situation. Yeah, totally, totally. You can roughly locate any community in the world, somewhere along a scale running all the way from democracy to despotism. One to the democracy end, another somewhere in the middle, and a third. Let's find out about despotism. This man makes it his job to study these things. Well, for one thing, avoid the comfortable idea that the mere form of government can of itself safeguard a nation against despotism. Germany, under President Hindenburg, was a republic. And yet in this republic, an aggressive despotism took root and flourished under Adolf Hitler. When a competent observer looks for signs of despotism in a community, 
He looks beyond fine words and noble phrases. Which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Many observers have found that two workable yardsticks help in discovering how near a community is to despotism. The respect scale and the power scale. A careful observer can use a respect scale to find how many citizens get an even break. 